I think that we all know why the bipartisan foreign policy establishment truly hates Julian Assange. And it's not because he's not a journalist, it's because WikiLeaks pose an incredible threat to that foreign policy narrative that they need to consolidate. We know that the corporate media is subsidized by the very defense corporations that feed into the system that control our political establishment. And they wanted to lock him away and throw away the key, frankly, because they wanted him to be set up as someone to make an example out of. Um, his reporting has exposed so much that we continue to build a foundation off of. I mean, literally every single thing that I've covered for Empire Files, it goes back to WikiLeaks archives. It's incredible how much just from the Iraq war logs that we found out about. I mean, we don't have to go over the collateral murder video again, but I mean, people don't really realize that that really helped propel the end to the Iraq war. Uh, the Iraqi government was trying to end the status of forces agreement. The United States was trying to extend it. The collateral murder video came out and that really put the heat on the United States. We had 100,000 armed fighters threatening to march in the streets until the United States pulled out troops. So Obama gets credit for ending you know, the troop presence in Iraq. No, it was actually WikiLeaks and what Julian Assange exposed that helped build the pressure to actually finally remove troops from Iraq.